All right, shallow up. We call praises to Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai. Double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone. Blessings to the elect and salutations to the icon out there doing this truth and sincerity. All right, we are the Hebrew Israelites. Come out here week in and week out to prophesy the downfall of America and let the Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans know that they are the true children of Israel spoken of in the Bible. And that uh, Esau is the so-called white man spoken of in the Bible. All right? the book of 2 Peter, chapter 1, verse 10. Wherefore, the brethren, brethren, Second Peter 1 and 1. Simon Peter, a servant and, a, and an apostle of Yahweh Shai and Mashiach, to them that have obtained like precious faith with us through the righteousness of the Most High and our Savior, Yahweh Shai. Grace and peace multiply unto you through the knowledge of, of the Most High and of Yahweh Shai, our Lord. Yeah, and that's talking about this truth, man. Because, for one, grace is a gift, as well as this truth, as well as faith, all right? As well as the spirit of Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, okay? But a lot of people take it for granted, all right? A lot of people take it for granted, or they don't. They don't even want to take this route. You know, they'd rather just be okay with going to church and um, believing in white Jesus, okay? Because when it's truth comes, uh, when it crosses their path, they deny it, they don't agree with it, and they, they'll find some excuse not to roll with it, man. And that's because it's a it's a gift from Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shah, all right? According as his uh, divine power have given unto us all things that pertain unto life and godliness through the knowledge of him that called us to the glory and virtue. Yeah, yeah. And he, he's the one that called us. A lot of people say, I'm going to give my life over to Hey, probably saying that it's today's New Year, man. All right, 2017, I'm going to go to church every Sunday. I'm going to give my life over to God. The Lord got to choose you, man. All right. The Lord, he got to accept you. He got to allow you to uh, open up your mind, man. All right? You don't control nothing. None of us control anything, man. It's all up to, to Yahweh Hashem Yahweh Shai. Uh, you know, I was reading the book of Ezekiel today with the dry bones. You know, uh, you know it said that Yahweh, Yahweh uh, has to put that breath of life in us. You know, for us to know anything. You know, just to what you saying. Says, uh, verse 4 whereby are given unto us exceeding great and precious promises that by these you might be partakers of the divine nature yeah because like uh on the way down here men and brother was having a conversation like jake think that this place right here is that greener grass man okay they actually content with being in this place man but we are literally tired mentally and physically, all of that, man. Okay? We sit here and got to get up and go to work. Then you got to deal with this and, and, and deal with all type of situations, man. To where you just like, fuck it, you know? But you still got to keep pushing, all right? You still got to keep going. You can't stop doing what you're supposed to be doing, which is uh, giving diligence, all right? Fearing the most high and keeping the commandments. That's the whole duty of man. All right, so we got to continue to do that. Okay? Because of those promises that we have promised. Says, Having escaped the corruption that is in the world, plus, and besides this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue, and to virtue knowledge. Yeah, go back up to the... Uh... Uh, uh, 2 Peter 1 and 4 whereby are given unto us exceeding uh, exceeding great and precious promises that by these you might be partakers of the of the divine nature having escaped the corruption that is in the world through lust yeah escape 
the corruption, all right? Because it, 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 it can take a hold on you, man, okay? It's, it's easy to be wicked, okay? Because this whole society is wicked. So it's easy to do the wrong thing, man, all right? That's why the scriptures talk about being uh, 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 persecuted for righteousness sake, man. All right, of course you're going to go to jail if you rob a bank, all right? But you're going to be, you should want to be persecuted for righteousness sake, man. For the Lord's sake. For, for believing in Yahweh Shem you know what I'm saying? Doing the work. Giving diligence, man. And besides this, giving all, dil uh, all diligence add to your faith virtue, and to virtue knowledge, and to knowledge temperance, and to temperance patience. Second Peter's 1 and 5. And besides this, giving all diligence, add to your faith virtue and to virtue knowledge. Okay, so the, the word virtue, uh, the, the word pronunciation is areta, um, Uh, strong G four seven one zero. Uh, Spuda, which means haste with haste, earnestness, diligence, earnest, earnestness in accomplishing, promoting, or striving after anything. Hey, striving, you know. Where is that earnestness? What? Which one? Earnestness in accomplishing and accomplishing. And our what is our what is the goal that we want to accomplish? At the end of the day, is get out of here. But before we get out of here, what do we got to give diligence in? We doing the work, man. All right, continuing, and it's because of adversity is going to come. All right, it's like a running back. Them, everybody's gonna the, uh, eleven players that's on the other team is going to try to tackle you, man. All right, it ain't like you get the, the handoff and you just get to walk to the end zone with nobody touching you. No, things are going to come your way. Things are gonna happen, man. Like Apostle Elder Tahar said, last year was the year of the push. This year is the year of death and destruction and diligence, man. Okay? This is, uh, to give all diligence, interest, oneself, uh, oneself most earnestly. Okay, virtue is uh, strong as G703. Aretia, um, a virtuous course of thought, feeling and action, virtue, moral goodness. Moral goodness, keeping the law, statute, commandments, doing the right thing, doing what you're supposed to be doing. Uh, any particular moral excellence as modesty, it says purity. So there you have it. And what brings you that? The knowledge, wisdom, understanding of these scriptures, man. Through the spirit of your how about Shem Yahweh Shai. Okay? The word that really stuck out was morals. Alright? A good a good moral, really, because you can have bad morals. Okay? Because that and that relates with what? Ethics. How you carry yourself. You know what I'm saying? How you act, how you behave. Alright? Like it uh, speaks about uh what holy conversation should you be in. All right, knowing that this place is going to be destroyed by thermonuclear fire, 
what should you be doing? Okay? Should we have good morals or bad morals, man? But a lot of people think that they can just do what they do. They can have their they morals that they grew up with. You know, they can't learn nothing else. Nothing can make them better or nothing unless it's money, man. All right? No, that, 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 I just want to post. You know, knowledge? Uh, I mean, if it's something, you know. It's, it's, okay, good. Yeah. The, the word there, well, the Strong's G1108 uh, Gnosis. It says, knowledge signifies in general intelligence, understanding, uh, the general knowledge of Christian religion. B, the deeper, more perfect, and enlarged knowledge of this religion, yeah. such as belongs to the more advanced. Yep. <laughs> That's a nice definition. Yeah. Hey, read it down, slow it down. Okay. The deeper, more perfect, and enlarged knowledge of this religion. Uh, so right there, you know, of course they're going to use the word religion, and we know that that's worship, okay? And who do we worship? Yahweh Shem Yahweh Shai, all right? And it said, a, a, it, it, what is that, a deeper enlargement? The deeper, more perfect, and the, enlarged the, knowledge. The deeper, more perfect, and enlarged knowledge, he give us, uh, he give us his, uh, his, his, uh, secrets to the uh, service to the prophets, man. Okay? So that's why we able to have that understanding and that knowledge. You know, going back to my, the point that I was saying earlier that when this truth crosses people's path, they don't want it. That's because they don't, they, they don't, the Lord ain't given them that knowledge. You know? But he said the beginning of uh, the fear of the Most High is the beginning of knowledge, man. So they don't fear the Most High. They don't give him the reverence that he is supposed to have. Okay? Because they talking about my God and, and, and how I do this and I do this and what I grew up off of, man. All right? And that's why, you know, the bro really be pointing out, you, you having bitches talking about they can't uh, find a man and shit or you can't keep a man because you don't got no damn morals, man. You got bad morals. All right? You got the shit that you go with because your mama had bad morals and her mama had bad, and it just goes back, man. All right? So then when something good comes across, you don't even know it's good. The last definition on here, moral wisdom, such as is seen in right living. Seen it and, and what provides you with the way to live right, man, the Bible, okay? That is what provides you, that's why they, they follow the scriptures, man, all right? When they, when, uh, who, who was up, who was that, uh, was that Ezra, when he got up on the pulpit? Yeah, and they gave the sense. Yeah, and they gave the sense. They, he was reading the scriptures, man. Ezra or... Yeah. Yeah. It was like Nehemiah chapter 9. Yeah. You know, but they they were reading the scriptures. Hey, the Lord. <laughs> when Satan came to tempt him, what did he do? He was quoting scriptures, man. All right? That's because this shows you how to operate. Okay? You can't you can't have it your way. This, this is not Burger King, man. People try to treat life like Burger King and you get to have everything your way. All right, because soon as something don't go your way, you're going to do what? You're going to break the fuck down, man. All right? You're going to break down. That's why we getting our ass whooped right now, man. Because it's only going to get worse out here. It's not going to get better. Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time. Of those times, man. All right? Because you're going to have to know what's in these scriptures in order uh, how to operate. To know not to go get a free meal down at the CenturyLink Center, man. All right? This is for basically when, when you're talking about the uh, people being raised up, you know, from generation to generation a certain way. Which the scriptures tell you, it tells you in Psalm that you're supposed to raise them up in the truth. So, you know, every generation, your sons are known, your sons' sons are known, basically. Second um, Corinthians chapter 5, verse 16 through 17. It says, Wherefore, henceforth, know we no man after the flesh, yea, know we have known Yahweh Shai after the flesh, yet now, henceforth, we know him no more. Therefore, if any man be in Yahweh Shai, he is a new creature, uh, all things are passed away. Behold, all things are become new. Are you good? Okay, yeah. So you have to be that new creature. Things that you 
grew up with, that, that don't matter, man. The, the things your mama taught you, you know what I'm saying, your daddy taught you, your grandma, your, your grandpa, all of them taught you, that don't matter because you gotta be washed clean, basically. You know what I'm saying?